half fresh heroes sorry half fresh here hooligans uh chrono trigger episode three let's do it recording starting now oh yeah i just realized you can't even see oh yeah <laughs> yeah be a little bit hard to commentate on something that way. Right, so, recording starting now. For real, sees. time oh yeah i fought that big boss guy uh that mountain up there in the right hand corner fell to the ground and uh yeah now I'm oh so wandering. did you just come out of that cave yeah back up here oh okay yeah so. just doing stuff in here um I bought some weapons and stuff, so that was cool. I'm actually gonna save again real quick. <laughs> yeah, so how long ago did you uh, get transported to the past? Because, uh... I I thought it was like not too long ago. Shwama. Wait, Shawa. Um. So here, actually, if I go back to my ship, I can show you. Yeah, so basically, this is 12,000 BC, uh, otherwise known as Antiquity. Um, so basically, I don't remember when I last left off, showing you at least, Matt, but, um, did you, why, did you watch me fight Magus? Uh, no, I did not. Okay. So basically, uh, after I fought Magus in the Middle Ages, uh, shit, what happened after that? In a while. Um, I think I first got so transported to prehistory. So was Zeal Palace before that, then? Before what? Uh, like you uh, talking to the Queen of Zeal. Was that before fighting Magus? No, this, that was all after. Okay. Um, I'm trying to remember exactly between fighting Magus and getting to Zeal what happened. Um, I think I fought Magus. Uh, I, like... Got... Then back to prehistory, maybe. I don't. I really don't remember. Well, let's but. just keep on going for it, and <laughs> if we remember it, we'll, we'll yeah. talk about it. But basically, since I started recording these, so far what's happened is I had visited Zeal the first time, got kicked out. Basically, they locked me out of this time period. This gate up here used to be sealed off um so but before all that i was able to uh get uh marley's pendant here to function with uh, these like magical doors um but there's a plethora of magical doors in the like far future so yeah the future 23 ad um so we went there, 
found uh, this guy named Balthazar, who actually built this spaceship, and then we took the spaceship back to this current time, and then the last episode is when I uh, went up into the mountain, which used to be in the sky up in the right-hand corner there, um, fought that big boss that I was struggling with, and then once I defeated him, the mountain fell to the ground, uh, Shala came uh, over down here to uh, the earthbound people, but uh, was quickly taken away by Dalton, which is one of Queen Zeal's like, lackeys, so... Uh, yeah, let's go back up to Zeal. It's kind of weird that Zeal is that far back in the past. It feels pretty dang futuristic. I know, right? I mean, I think technically this is like the Ice Age. I mean, obviously you can tell from the ground, but yeah, it's kind of strange that it's in this time period. I would have thought it would have been in like the way, way future, but oh well. Um, I did watch a video the other day that uh, if I did something with all these books, I think it opened like a passageway or something. Uh, where's the last book? Uh, what was it? Could have sworn there's supposed to be like a passageway or something back here, I think, but it's like some puzzle you have to do with, uh, or like some pattern with these books. I don't remember what it was though. I'll do it a different time. But basically, there's a guy back there I can fight for XP and whatnot. This whole place feels more like a big library, like an archive. Yeah. It uh. kind of reminds me, I uh, bought a D&D adventure book, like, ages ago. It's like Candlekeep Mysteries. It's mm -hmm. all about, uh, basically, adventures from, like, levels 1 through 20 that all, like, start off of something in this, uh, this, like, fort that is, like, a big, big library. Hmm. I had to think whether I should run that or just kind of steal ideas from it and put it in my own campaign. Yeah. If there's one thing I like, it's mysteries. It's real fun. Right. I could literally listen to the soundtrack like on loop. It's so good. Yeah, when you're done with all this, uh, you should check out the, uh, the orchestral rendition. Oh, I know about that. I've listened to it on Spotify. It's by, what is it, like, Malcolm Robinson or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's really good. I think I like that version of, uh, Secrets of the Forest, like, immensely more than the actual game's version. <laughs> God. So freaking ominous. The 
save again just to be extra safe. Decided to leave you alone before, hoping you might make that prophet show his true colors. But I've no use for you anymore. Your history. Oh god, I wasn't expecting to fight oh boy. someone this fast. Go ahead, try an attack. We'll see what that gets you. Oh god. Oh. Um. Oh god. Oh please no no no. Stop, please. Jeez. Got um. no chill there. Make yeah, him maybe... wet, frog. Um. Maybe it's a good thing that everyone has their own healing. Yeah, I mean, Chrono doesn't have like healing, healing. He's got like reviving power, but. God, for being a like 30 year old game, like some of the attack animations are still like crisp as fuck. Oh, that's it? Oh, what? <laughs> I Dang, that's, frenzy. that's rather odd. I saw it too, awesome. He's kind of punching real hard that I was thinking that he have, like, a ton of health. Uh, something tells me that's not the last we see of him, though. Oh, maybe... No! I can't be beaten now. Not with eternal life just within my grasp. Uh-oh. I will go to Namek and find the Dragon Balls. <laughs> Can you just go through another gate? <sighs> Do I want to follow him? Classic. Uh, Alright, let's go. Oh. Oh, that's, uh, that's the Ocean Palace. Okay. Oh, dang. Ooh, oh. I like this music. Holy crap, this place is, uh... If we thought Zeal was futurist, then look at this place. Yeah. Oh. I mean, oh, also, right. if there's one thing that games have taught me, it's to never trust a water temple. <laughs> See how rough this turns out. <laughs> I don't want to use someone else, but like, this is a really good trio right here. You know, I think I'll give, uh, Luca some run here. <laughs> mm. Yeah, let's just stick with Luca for now. Hello, for, oh, it's Mune. Do you want to do his voice? Um, yeah, god dang. I feel dark energy filling this place. Something frightening stirs. Uh-oh. Oh, and now he's gone. Shala, raise the output of the Mammon machine to its limit. Shala, you dare disobey me? Very well, mother. Oh, what splendor. Behold the incredible power of Lavos. Mm. 
You do prophet's voice. Uh. <laughs> I'll do the anime gasp. <laughs> there. Give me my Oscar. Okay. Ooh, uh, bad thingies. Fun. Yeah, I want to kill. Oh, oh there's not even like a battle music in here. Gotta keep the ambience going, you know. I suppose so. Oh, Same thing. I think they did like a similar thing for uh, Final Fantasy VII when they're you're running out of the reactor, really? and even those there's uh, random encounters, they kind of keep the same tension going. Because mm -hmm. your goal isn't to fight them; it's to get out of there as quick as possible. What the heck does Frenzy do? I want to see that. Whoa. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Alright. What was that? I don't know, it was cool though. It's like a crit. Wow, Luca does not have like any techs. Bear. Oh shit, that healed him. Ah. Uh. Oh dang. Maybe bringing Luca wasn't a good idea. <laughs> Alright. Luca, you're getting relegated again, I'm sorry. Back to Frog. Maybe, maybe since uh, maybe Chrono and gang isn't the only people to time travel, maybe Zeal is from the future. All right, I guess. Just oh, don't that's use magic against these that... guys. Oh, well, fuck. Ah. <laughs> well, that's nice. That's unfortunate. Pick uh, these guys out first. I'm guessing there isn't a way to only fight one of them at a time. Like, you can't just aggro one of the three. I mean, you can. But... Probably take a lot of uh, time just to fine tune, though. It's just quicker getting uh, rid hey, of them all at go. once. I forgot what the specific terminology was for this type of combat. Um, it's like active combat or something? I don't remember. Exactly. Something akin to that. I mean, I love it. <laughs> yeah, it, it's cool. It's a little stressful though at times. Yeah. It's, it's like. Especially imagine. if you're like trying to think of like, all right, what do I need to do to attack next? It's like imagine if in uh, our D and D campaigns we had like a timer on people's turns. Yeah, that well, was that's, that's part of my problem with the last boss is because he like attacked so fast that like I couldn't keep up at first. Yeah. All right. 
Alright, so those yellower guys don't like lightning very much. I don't like about the Steam version though is that it doesn't like show uh, the names of enemies like when you're fighting them like I only learned that that boss that I fought last time uh, his name is Giga Gaius and I wouldn't have known that without watching a video so <laughs> Did not use Luca. Really ain't putting it. Jeez. Does this game have like a, a taunt system? A taunt system? I don't think so. There were, you mean like where enemies will aggro you, like that sort of thing? Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah, specific characters based on their role or a certain value will target yeah. that person more often. I don't know if it has, like... I mean, clearly, obviously, there's a calculation that takes place, but I don't yeah, know. Yeah, honestly, anything. like, my best guess is probably, like, whoever is doing the most damage is probably who's getting targeted, but yeah. I really don't know. I feel like games where uh, that mechanic, something you can play around with, that allows you to kind of, I don't know, have a reason for like tanks to exist. Mm -hmm. Then they could just be your damage sponge. All right, I'm gonna test something. These guys are blue, so. Da ba dee da ba da. Maybe they don't. Okay, I think my theory was correct. So the blue ones don't like ice, the yellow ones don't like lightning, and I'm assuming the red ones don't like fire. Makes sense. What is over here? Oh, hello, friends. Hello, Mario. God, that's such a cool <laughs> attack. Ba boom Frog, what's the matter? Why are you confused? Imperium Blade? Is it better than what I have now? It is. I will use that. Ooh, and the rune blade is much better than what I have now. I don't know why I bought those weapons when I was just about to get new ones. Oh. Oh, wait. Did I go into a different door? Uh oh. 
Um, alright. That did nothing. Cool. Oh. <laughs> I'm at rank 59. Oh, and in Genshin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. Yes, Toby was right. About? About me hitting it relatively soon. Ow. Awesome. Cure 2. Let's go. Hopefully that means it's a AoE healing spell. <laughs> Actually, let me try that. Ah, uh, no, it's not. Oh, so you're not limited to, like, a set number of spells that each person knows? You um, I, don't, I don't think so. It, basically, uh, with the text, it's like... The more you use different party members, like, together, uh, they'll, like, gain different kinds of, like, skills together. So, like, Chrono and Marley have, like, a certain number of techs together. Um, like, if you can see, all of these are, uh, dual techs. So, he's got, um, three he can do with Marley, one with, like, uh... uh one with Robo. He's got a couple you can do with Frog. Some so with that's, Ayla. that's like the one where uh, he like leaped up and Marley like tossed him like fire and stuff. That's uh, what that was. Uh, maybe. I mean, Luca can do that. He can like do a spin attack and Luca will set his like sword on fire. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then there's triple techs. Um. So the frost arc is basically uh, just like Chrono gets water and ice on his sword and does an attack and then triple attack is like Robo, Chrono, and Frog all attack at once together. So. Pretty cool. out of magic, that's why. Well, that's not good. If only I had a tech that could raise MP points. Yeah, honestly, I think after I'm finished with this game, the next, like, JRPG-type game I might play is, uh, FF6. Ah, uh, that's a good one. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think you'd be hard-pressed to find a bad one. True. I don't know, FF6 just sounds interesting to me. Oh, there's stuff over here. Kaiser arm. Uh, all right. Well, I can go all the way over here. I can't. Even not. Never mind. 
<sighs> you got any new games you're playing? Uh, I mean, you know, you know what I'm doing. Just uh, the usual. Star Rail. <laughs> Star Rail and Genshin. I mean, technically, technically, if I wanted to, um, I could play Tears of the Kingdom, uh, because JR said I could just play on a different account. Oh, nice. But at the same time, like, I already have, like, two big time sinks. Adding in a third would be kind of crazy. What are the two? Well, I mean, Honkai and Getchen. Uh. Oh. I suppose, uh, right now it's kind of quiet. Won't yeah, be once Fontaine comes out. Well, yeah. Mm. I was gonna say, Genshin doesn't really have much going on right now. I keep seeing like so much stuff for Tears of the Kingdom and just is making me want to play it more and more. I mean, yeah. Seems like it's pretty dang enjoyable. I think once I get my next uh, paycheck, I might buy that. in there for some reason chrono doesn't want to be able to use uh, any mp why can't i use anything I wonder if I should play Diablo 4 when it comes out, because that's relatively soon, or I guess it's next month, but like, because I feel like I haven't ever really tried it out beyond like a demo. Mm hmm I know practically nothing about Diablo games, so I wouldn't mind watching you play something like that. Hold on. How much? Obviously, the pre order is going to be more, more expensive. How much is it? Uh, oh, jeez. $70 to 100 Oh my god. <laughs> that's that's kind of nutty. <laughs> oh, because. Right, because Blizzard. Because Blizzard sucks. Yeah, Blizzard sucks. <laughs> eh. I mean, I know some people want to people want to play things as soon as possible. I don't really see the promise in pre-ordering. Just with how how many games lately have like come out, that came out 
like unfinished or like yeah. really buggy that is just like wouldn't it be better just to play it once all of that's finished all patched up right Like, you know I'm all Silk Song this, Silk Song that, but I don't think I would have won, even, like, though it would be my fa it's my favorite game of all time. I don't know I'd pre-order it. Maybe I would just because it would make me resistant to spoilers. Yeah. But usually the Hollow Knight community is... Decent with that. But, you know, it's the internet. It's like one of the reasons why I read through the end of Attack on Titan. It's just because I wasn't about to, like, chance just, like, some rando spoiling the ending for me. Yeah. Uh, that's the issue with a lot of things. It's like when you search up heck, heck, when you search up names in Google, you're like, oh, like, wait. You're like, oh, I need to figure out uh, how this character works, or, or like, oh, what, what was that about them? And you like want to like take a quick look at something, like, oh, this character is blank. And then you type their name in, and then it says death scene, and you're like, oh, great. <laughs> yeah. What the heck did that do? Am I, like, supposed to be pressing all these buttons, or what? Imagine if Google came out with, like, a... A way to, I guess, I guess you could. There's probably a setting for disabling like autocomplete for like suggestions. Like, I wonder if you could do one for like specifically spoilers. Right. Like flag. Like ah yes. Don't include the word death. <laughs> in any of these. Because so I know you can exclude... You can exclude results from your, uh... from your search. I don't know. In a perfect world. Yeah. I like don't necessarily mind spoilers sometimes, but I definitely get where you're coming from. Yeah. I, I guess, you know... I don't mind spoilers if I know it's something that I'm going to, like, be playing on my own. Uh, just because I, like, I'm, I feel like my experience is still going to be different, even if it's, like, I know it's somewhat it's going to happen. I guess there's, uh... If it's a good enough story, you know, there's a little bit of a dramatic irony in going through it all, and... Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess... I guess I do see that maybe, like, unexpected things like that, a uh, subversion is kind of an underrated thing. Mm-hmm. Better to make things satisfying and well-written than to make them surprising. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of a double-sided coin, if you think about it. Like, sure, the surprise element is always, like, fun, but it's really only fun in that moment. But it's like you said, the having the satisfaction over the surprise element kind of sticks with you more, I feel yeah. like.
It's like, I, it, it's a bad twist if uh, the story would have been better off if it had gone differently. Mm hmm. That's why, uh, you know, a lot of characters don't get killed off because the story would be much less interesting without them in it. Yeah. Or uh, they have the plot, or plot armor, so to say. I'm sorry, I just got up for a second. Did you say something? Uh, I'm just thinking where to go next in here. I feel like I've been everywhere. There's always that, uh, thing in exploration of, like, wonder and excitement when you're going through. And then there's the, like, last... 5% of it, where you're like, where do I go? Where do I go? What do I do? It's like retreading your steps multiple times over. Part of me wonders if I wasn't supposed to come here yet. I mean, how heavy does uh, this game have with side quests? I mean, I've mainly just been sticking with the main story. I don't really know in terms of side quests what it has to offer yet, but... thought this was the right place to go to. Especially having fought Dalton. Oh wait, this is new. Uh, alright. Oh, hello. It's another oh. frog guy. kind of interesting that just the enemies kind of walk around. Just... Yeah, I think this was one of the first games to like have that like overworld like enemy type of deal. Because like it doesn't mean anything mechanically. Because, but it's just interesting to see enemies not you know anchored to one spot. Right. Or just like random encountered. Yeah. Yeah. This looks like or like the shafts in the Death Star <laughs> in Star Wars, you know, like when they're having their lightsaber fights and it's just like the big chasm. It kind of looks. Yeah, like yeah. Like... I got what you mean, yeah. Uh, guess we we'll go down the stairs. Yeah. Oh God.
but I'm out of... Alright, we're the ice and fools. I need to give you more ether. Oh. Dang it, he disabled my magic on Marley. <laughs> Alright, well at least they're dead. Fifty-one potions. Yeah, but I don't have a lot of ether left. Just got rid of my last high ether. I don't have any mid ether left. I only got normal ether now. <laughs> Scared to find out. Sumu would be maybe like a super heal. Maybe. Ambrosia kills all of your party members. Actually, that's what Lapis does. Lapis heals uh, everyone 200 HP. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought you were gonna say Lapis kills all your party members. I'm like, what? <laughs> no, Ambrosia just says restores question mark. So, I don't know. Mm. You gotta bring it to the end of the game, and you'll get a special ending. Maybe. No idea how to gauge like my like level cap in this game because like enemies are much harder now obviously but I feel like I'm not necessarily struggling with them so I don't know if I'm like right where I should be or what I don't know maybe it's just a difficulty curve So they're just yeah, I just don't know if bit. I should like grind or whatever anywhere. Maybe get over leveled a little bit. I, I mean, mean, this certainly is helping. Yeah. I'm what level 35 now for Chrono? There you go. If you punch above your weight, you're uh, leveling up. Mm-hmm. Down and down we go. Where we will stop it. Oh my god, okay. Oh dear um, lord. Well. 
I think that's a good place to leave off then. I kind of want to get to the end of the palace. Uh... Oh boy. Let's get to the bottom of these steps and then we can do. We, we can stop there. Yeah, those guys weren't that bad. Like, I mean, once you have all these AOE spells, like, yeah. Jeez, this just keeps on attacking you there. Oh. No. Oh. God. What? 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 All right, bye. Was that Dalton? Or... No, no, it wasn't. It was just some heavy armor guy. Runs in, spawns enemy, fails to elaborate. to elaborate. Yeah, leaves. Okay, how come only two of them died? Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Other ones are just built different. I, sure. There you go. Hello. Oh. You're back. Oh. Dreamstone has been used throughout the ages. The mammon machine and the, that pendant were made from it, and so was that knife. We are in the embodiment of Melchior's hope, sealed within the knife. Hurry, if you mean to confront the queen, hope rests in your hands. Thank you, master. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Ah, I can feel it. The pulse of life eternal. <laughs> this is dark energy. The Mammon Machine, your majesty, it's too dangerous to continue. But Master Skywalker, what are we going to do? Mother! Oh, Don't shit. stop, Shala. We've only a little longer to go. Immortality will be ours. Zeal will have the eternal glory it deserves. Mahaha, <laughs> so long have I waited. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, I see. Um I'm trying to get to a safe point is my problem. Oh here we go. Here's one. <laughs> right as I speak. Let me kill these guys. Oh.
radical. Um, there we go. Let's use a shelter real quick. Cool. Now we can save. Alright, well thanks for watching, y'all. Uh, we will be back next time for another episode of Chrono Trigger. See ya. Peace.